This news update is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. This is a noon Barbados Today update for Wednesday, June the 4th, 2014. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. We begin with official confirmation that Barbados has recorded its first case of chikungunya. Health Minister John Boyce told a news conference this morning the case was among seven samples sent for testing to the Trinidad-based Caribbean Public Health Agency last week. This is an imported case. The point must be made. This is an imported case which occurred in an individual who arrived in Barbados on May the 25th and has already traveled back to their home country. Vector control measures were implemented last week based on suspicion of chikungunya. Members of the public are advised that simple control measures can be taken to protect themselves from being bitten by mosquitoes. These include spraying inside their homes with insect re repellent to kill adult mosquitoes and getting rid of containers, buckets, tires, coconut shells and other places where mosquitoes can breed. Several St. Michael residents are at this hour counting their losses after fire struck the community of 3rd Avenue Paris Gap. Two wooden houses were destroyed and three others were damaged in the blaze, which occurred just after two, 4 o'clock this morning. 37-year-old Sean Carter lost his three-bedroom, one-bathroom home, while Angela and Leroy Downs lost their two-bedroom, one-bathroom dwelling. The Chief Fire Officer Wilfred Marshall and his 12-man team battled the blaze. Lawmen are on the hunt for a St. Michael man described as armed and extremely dangerous. 32-year-old Nibingi Green of Dunlow Lane is wanted in connection with a serious criminal matter. Green is about 5 feet 6 inches tall, slim build of brown complexion and has brown eyes. He has a bulbous nose, crooked teeth and wears a dark brown hat. Police have advised Green that he can turn himself in accompanied by an attorney at law or a family member. They however urge members of the public not to approach Green but to contact Police Emergency at 211, the nearest police station or Crime Stoppers at 1-800-TIPS, that's 1-800-8477. In other news now, the Barbados Economic Society raises alarm about Moody's three-tier downgrade of the island's sovereign debt from BA3 to B3. Vice President Hallen Hope says it's unusual and he warned it will affect the government's ability to service its debt and secure financing. A drop of $3 to B3 from BA3 represents a significant shift in confidence in sovereign debt as monitored and analyzed by Moody's. This evaluation on Barbados' foreign debt situation proved to be an extensive piece, which has highlighted concerns that Barbados have been aware of for something. The major implications of this downgrade relate to its impact on government's existing debt obligations, as well as its ability to secure future financing at manageable costs for any existing debt service linked to movements in credit ratings. The three-notch downgrade will increase government's interest costs and raise its expenditure. It is regional and international news after this short break. My dad means everything to me. He's my friend, he's my pillar, he's my role model, he's always there. I'm celebrating my dad this Father's Day with Barbados today. So can you write a letter telling us why your dad is number one to love at Barbados today dot BB and get a chance to win a Samsung Tablet 3. Enter now, the deadline closes on June 12. Over in the Caribbean, a Vincentian mother of four is sentenced to one year behind bars for burning her son with a hot iron. 23-year-old Tashika D'Souza pleaded guilty to causing grievous bodily harm to her six-year-old after pressing the appliance to his body 
three times for soiling himself after she had prepared him for school. The Souza apologized to the court saying she was not aware that the iron was still hot since she had plugged it out a while before the incident. The boy was burnt on the hand and abdomen. On the international front, Alaska is on red alert following a major volcanic eruption. The Pavlov volcano, located in one of the country's inhabited regions, erupted with new intensity yesterday, sending smoke and ash some 24,000 feet into the air after years of rumbling. The occurrence did not cause any disruptions to nearby towns, but the country is now on the highest volcanic alert in five years. Scientists expect strong eruptions to continue for the next few months. That's been the Noon Barbados Today update. Join us again at 6 p.m. Until then, log on to www.barbadostoday.bb. Subscribe to our e-paper and like us on Facebook to get more news and sports. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. This news update is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Get your sun power.